Full clip after being deep on the course, was out near the middle of the track, zipped around the outside, and it's gone to the lead here before the bend. About a length and a half in front of Grey Enigma, sitting outside, illusion of light, Friar fighter wide. Deeper still is on trend with its run. The big fellow starting to wind up, coming to the middle. Sovereign Hall back behind them. By the 250, though, full clip had led the way from Grey Enigma. Here comes on trend with his run on the outside. He's letting down brilliantly. On trend moved up, illusion of light, kicks on the inside with full clip, seat secret charge they beat off Grey Enigma it's on trend doing better than them though deeper out on trend too good on trend gives the Webster stable a double beat you had to wait from race one to race eight but I'd say it was worth it it's a long wait but it was well worth it yeah. tell us about this horse we know we mentioned to you even after the first race interview the hype that was around him we saw the trial was really good he looks sensational in the yard yeah he's a magnificent horse he's uh, he's a big horse but he's beautifully put together and uh, he's a great mover and the quietest horse in the world to, to train, to do anything with. He's just a beautiful animal. It was the manners that, yeah, I really noticed as well, as you mentioned. I mean, he's a big size horse. You can see that he's very strong. But the mannerism of him, the way that he was even parading around, looked very confident and, as you said, very quiet and ready just to wait and put it out on the track. Yeah, he is, Adam. He's just got a magnificent temperament and um, he's very, very sound. Um, so, you know, I think that he's got a chance of, uh, of, of doing a bit better than he did today. I'm sure from the, the trial and from what you've seen at home, you're pretty confident coming in today, but there would have been a, a few question marks, I guess, with the barrier, a bit like when he raced at Ascot when he had barrier 11 that day after the, the first up win at, Pin at Bunbury. Yeah, it's um, the barrier's always a worry when you draw wide. Doesn't matter what track it is or where you are, but um, that was our only worry was the barrier. Other than that, we, we thought he could really win it. The expectations this campaign, obviously went to 1,400 metres last campaign, obviously you'll do that again, but what's the sort of big picture plan for him in this prep? Yeah, we'll keep it 12 for a run or two yet, Adam, and then we'll uh, we'll look a bit further distance for him. Colin done a great job with him. He looks to be a very exciting campaign. Looking forward to following him. Congratulations. Thanks very much, Adam. Thank you. We'll just grab Troy Turner as well after that run to ask about on trend. And Troy, as we were saying, it looks to be a very nice horse. Just tell us about the run and your opinion of him. Yeah, he's um, got a nice run in transit. Um, and he finished the race really well. He's still learning a bit, so um, I think he'll improve as he gets a bit more racing under his belt. Clearly from the trials and the track work, you were very confident. You looked relaxed throughout the run. didn't really matter where you were because you knew what you had underneath you. Yeah, that's it. Um, he is quite a relaxed sort of horse, and um, he's got a good upside about him. So uh, I can see him just sort of going through his classes, and hopefully he can get to the top level. Did he switch off slightly when he hit the front? It looks as though the inside horses came a little bit, or was that you just backing off there, or was it just a little bit green when he found the front? Yeah, he did. He rolled around a little bit when he hit the front. He's, like I said, he's not really a full race horse at the moment, so he's going to improve with a bit more racing. They better watch out when he is. Congratulations, Troy. Yeah, thank you.